Welcome back to the Myth Busting Locksmith and another exciting episode. Now, first of all, I would like to introduce you to this thumb turn that arrived in the post today. It is apparently a low security one, so not a one star, just a standard thumb turn cylinder. It came with three keys and is in full working order, uh, which is, is excellent. Now, if we were to have a cheat and look at the keys, this should not prove much of a challenge. So I haven't had a go at this yet. I am going to attempt this for the first time with you now because the issue that I had with these was the thumb turn tools that I had ordered and arrived. I've never been able to get into a thumb turn lock with them. I've tried bumping, bypassing, raking and using the electric pick which we have here. And as you can see, I have got the beast. Uh, this fine box weighs the same as a small chateau in the south of France or an average sized saloon car. It is an absolute beast, it has everything I could possibly need to get into your house in it, and it is the main one of a much larger collection of tools. So, this was sent to me by somebody who was very kind, and in return I'm sending an envelope. Uh, it has a small gift in it and a way of saying thank you so much for sending me the lock. Uh, I very much appreciate it, and it will help my training. But I don't want to hear any Oh, but Dad, I don't like surprises because this is a surprise. It is coming to you. You know who you are, CB. So thank you very much. It will arrive in a few days. I'm posting it later today when I have done this video. Now, hopefully I will get into this quite quickly because I have not attacked this. As I say, I've literally set everything up. Uh, I have given it a blast with GT85 spray. Never use WD-40. Never use anything else. And as I've heard somebody use cooking oil, don't do that because I will hunt you down. I will let myself in and then I will kill you. Uh, GT-85 spray is literally the only thing you ever want to use with your locks. There we are. Product placement plug. Right. So let us get on with this and see how we can get on with the various methods of attack. So it is all reset. Now, as I say, I don't know how I'm going to get on with this thing, so let's hope I can do it fast. Otherwise, I might end up doing 20 videos to make it look as if I can do it fast. So, I just want to see the various methods of how we can get in. Now, with thumb turns, I would usually generally always go through the letterbox, potentially try single pin picking it. But today, we're trying to rake it and try various methods just to see how easy, potentially low security, this actually is. So this is a little something for everybody, just so it's not all down to one style. And as I say, this is a, and um, there we are. Okay, we have it already. Now, as you can see, I have released this, but for some reason it is not engaging the cam. So what I generally do here, no, it really isn't, is, as with other locks I've come across that have a security setting where the cam does not engage, what I did was I took a series of keys and I filed off all the teeth, as you can see. So the, the it won't be that one. So the idea being, if it doesn't engage the cam, I can hopefully find, oh, there we are, you see, I can find a key that fits. And if I'm very careful, I can hopefully catch where it is and engage the cam and there we are you see I've now engaged the cam and I've locked it back up which is not helpful at all so we know it's this one fits and we know we can get in this very fast but we need to make the cam turn to unlock the door so let's try it again which one do we use As you see, it wasn't easy picking the first time round. It's not going to be the second time round because I'm recording it. Now these keys are excellent. I have found with certain high security locks that the cam doesn't engage when you release the pins, that you need the, the key to turn the cam and get them in the door. And there is another YouTube video out there that I'm doing exactly that. So there we are, right, okay. So we've released it again, and we know that this one fits perfectly. So, I really want to do this a third time. 
No, we're just not going to do it, are we? No, what are we missing here? See, as you can see, I can turn the key round, but it is not engaging the cam. And that's... Oh, there we are. And there you got it. Okay, and that is how you do that. I've done it once. You see, I would have done it once. So that is turned around, but that may not have unlocked the door. So let us try one more time. There we are. So there. Okay, three times, quick succession. Let us try this now. And there it is. Now you can see I can successfully unlock the door. So as I say, get a series of keys with all different profiles shave off the teeth and then you have a series here that you can put in a lock and as you can see I did here you can twist around the cam with the key and we are good to go so let's try and get this locked up again now this seems to be quite free moving right so there is an essential for your kit so new locksmiths do that get a load of keys that you don't need anymore shave off the teeth stick them on a key ring you have different profiles for different locks Right, well that was very easy. How embarrassing for the lock. So the next thing we're going to try is the electric one. Now this is a fairly basic electric pick and I really like it. I have heard other people saying there are better ones out there and there are different designs and different design flaws. <clears throat> but one of the things with this button is it doesn't stick out huge and if it's rolling around in your van, which I think was one quote that somebody said, it's not likely to turn itself on because the button is too firm and the knob at the end here sticks out. So, whereas others can roll around in your van and uh, turn themselves on and therefore waste the battery, this one doesn't actually do that. So, I'm going with, let's try that one first of all. Uh, Right, so this is just a second method, same lock. See how we get on with this. Oh, this there we go. So I just want to see how easily we can get this again. I'm not necessarily going to release the can again. I just want to see if we can pick it open. And once the cylinder, sorry, the uh, yeah, the cylinder barrel is turning, then we know that we've effectively unlocked it because we're coming on to the thumb turns, which is the main point of this lock. Right, that is locked in place. Right. And there we have it you see we have now completely gone all the way around and done it with the electric pick as well and of course we use the key to engage the cam and unlock the door that way but i just want to show you how easy it is with different methods or how difficult it is but thank goodness for me it is actually working out quite well so electric pick seconds standard picking or raking seconds not going to bother to single pin pick it doesn't seem the trend these days so, on to the main course of the thumb turn bypass tools. Now, these are great in theory and everybody loves them, but what I found was I bought this series plus a grey one that actually got jammed on lock and broke, so it got thrown in the bin. Uh, these came from America, these were Peterson ones, and it was great, they were £35 each you add shipping and handling and they end up being £152 each and I couldn't get in a single lock with them. So probably very good picks, absolute waste of time for me, shocking waste of money. We're going to put them to the test now. This one, another company, English company in Wales. Uh, and I found that this is actually a lot better. Don't know why, 
I can't see a huge difference, but this one, if you know the company in Wales, this is one tool I really like from them. So let's just see if I can get this thing completely jammed up or if we can actually achieve what I haven't been able to do on all the other locks. And as I say, this was the reason this was sent to me in the first place, to see if it was my technique or if it was the locks that were actually causing me the problem. No, see again, I can feel it's trapped. No, exactly the same problem again. I have got it jammed in the lock and it's just not giving me any joy. So again, thumb bypass. Could be my technique. Could be the tool. It could be the lock. But I've never got on with these. I generally don't like using them. I don't find I'm successful with them. I can see I'm making some movement here, but I find they always get stuck. I can see it's moving. Now at this point, usually they do get stuck completely. So this is a better lock than normal because it's not getting stuck, which means it's a lower, lower security level than normal because it's getting stuck. That doesn't even fit in, so that's the only one. Potentially will get stuck. So as I say, it could be my technique. It could be the locks I come across, but in theory, this is low security. Oh, there we are. So we have that. Now again, you see, I have a gauging can, as you can see, it's moving, but it is not turning all the way around, but it has jammed up the tool. So there's definitely, definitely something odd going on here. It's either my technique. No, I just want the tool out. So there we have it. It's either my technique or it is maybe the tools that I have are not working. Because as you can see, I got into it easily. I released it easily. I used one of these one of these keys to turn the camera around and unlock the door. And in fact, the first time I did it, it unlocked the door. Sorry, it locked the door the first time. It unlocked the door the second time. So it is stuck. So I'm gonna fiddle with this and get it out. But as far as I'm concerned, once again, the thumb turn bypass tools have failed. The rakes have worked. The electric has worked. I've gone in this very fast. Thank you, CB, again for your lock. I'm going to try and single pin pick it off camera. I'm going to post your envelope to you for your little surprise. And hopefully I will get this out. And once this is done and I have studied it and I have learned how to pick and bypass it with various methods, it will go into my budget box where all locks get measured, they get added with keys, and then if somebody is on a low budget or struggling or as an emergency measure, I have a whole selection of locks. I sell them for £15 each, and they can go in the door as a temporary measure, or they can stay as a permanent measure if the person so wishes. So if they can't afford it, or they don't have the money, or you just need something to fit there and now, get in the door. Every lock, £15, doesn't matter if it's a thumb turn, a, a key key, a rim cylinder or a high security lock. It is the same price regardless. So there we are, it's jammed. The thumb bypass tools have failed. The lock has been beaten by me. Picking, electric, jobs are good. Uh, I hope you've learned something about that. And these, I think are gonna end up going in the bin, which is a real shame, but failing every time, gotta be a design flaw there somewhere because I've spent hours with these, okay? I hope you've learned something new today. Thank you for watching and do, uh, do come back for more and tell me what you like and what you don't like and we'll see what we can do. All right, thanks for watching, goodbye.